choose your superpower. We get four random superpowers, and you've got to choose which one's the best. And then explain to me why. I'm going to explain to you now. Random superpower. One, two, three, four. Number one, mental reset. Number two, animalistic defense. Number three, schooling like a fish. Number four, supernatural swordsmanship. Okay, first off, none of these uh, stand out as impressive. Uh, I would say supernatural swordsmanship is probably probably your best, but to be honest, this also could be... Mm, okay, reading a little bit more into this. The power to possess transcendent mastery in wielding swords. Okay, that's good, because I was thinking supernatural swordsmanship might require you to have some sort of supernatural abilities. And let's say we live in the real world as it is right now, that would be completely useless. Because, as far as I know, as much as I would love that for it to be the case, uh, there is no such thing as magic. And therefore, magic swordsmanship would essentially not exist, because you would require magic to use it. So I'm going to say this is probably the best. Um, in terms of a fight, in terms of usefulness in our daily life, um, schooling, swim together in such synchronicity that the user appears to act like one single organism. Nah, that's, that's not going to help. That's not helping anybody in anything. That's, that's zero. Um, I guess if you had like clones or something, this would be maybe useful no not really um so that's that's a zero that's that's completely useless uh animalistic defense the ability to use animal imitation to defend oneself that's potentially actually decent um let's say defensive skills that are enhanced by animal imitation powers okay actually this is potentially very good. You could use this in daily life. Um, you know, you could have some sort of, yeah, I don't know, rhinoceros skin. Um, yeah, so, you know, you're just going about your daily blue-collar work life. You're going to have, you know, some sort of animal that has uh, flame retardants. Okay, you don't get, you know, you're not going to burn yourself as badly. You're not going to Oh no, you didn't stub your toe. You're fine. You're you're good to go. Um Yeah. So realistically in I think the real world world we're existing in right now, this is actually probably the best out of these. But let's check out mental reset. Okay. Not a mental reset. I was thinking this was self-limited. It's not. This is the power to reset the mind of target which means that you could also reset your own mind. That's interesting. Okay, user can reset the mind of a target, reverting their knowledge, memories, experiences, behaviors, and so on back to the beginning, making it so that the user will have to learn everything they learned before again and start over with their experiences. Okay. Yeah, that's... You know what? This could be useful in the sort of like to be used as like a Babylon 5. Like let's say we have like a serial killer, like someone who's horrible um, and we want to remove from society. Um, but we're saying that, you know what? The death penalty is not moral. Um, it's going to cost a lot of money to house people uh, in prison. Um, and maybe we've decided that prison is uh, also inhumane for whatever reason, like prisons are so bad they're cruel and unusual punishment this reset the mind of a target basically does kill the person personality uh that did all these horrible terrible crimes and allows them to start over from zero so that's nice um i'm sure there's some people that would you know have like horrific trauma that would love to be able to forget everything that's ever happened in their life um, I think that's really incredibly 
overzealous and would be way too much of a course correction because this, you know, is like you're, you're going to zero. That's not good. I don't want that. So I think if I had to pick one of these, obviously if you're in some sort of a fight, if you're in something that requires you to have some sort of combat ability in any kind of a fight, supernatural swordsmanship, out of these four, that's the top one. Um, who's using, I mean, I guess supernatural swordsmanship, let's say you wanted to enter the Olympics. Let's say you were going to be like a sword demonstration type person. Um, that would be kind of useful for that. In today's world, this is kind of completely useless. Um, yeah, because again, even if you're really super incredibly skilled at using a sword, a gun beats you because you're not going to be able to, you know, with human attributes, I don't care how, you know, incredibly fast you're, you know, doing with all this kind of stuff, you're not going to be deflecting a bullet. You're not going to be, you know, jediing your way around, you know, blaster bolts and bullets and, you know, rifle rounds and any of that kind of stuff. Not to mention, you can't carry a sword around with you all the time. Um, so this has a ton of limitations, real world. Um, but this is kind of the best if you had to pick one purely for combat. Um, it's completely useless in the real world, though. Schooling is just completely useless. Um, for a human being, which is what we're limiting our discussion to, this is completely useless. Animalistic defense. Let me see if there's anything else with the schooling, because I feel like I'm giving this a complete lack of possibility. No. No, I'm not. It's exactly what we thought it was, and it's terrible. So realistically, animalistic defense, this is the one I would pick. I would pick animalistic defense. Um, I, you could use that on a daily basis. You know, okay, hey, we're doing plumbing. We're doing, you know, electrical work. Uh, we're doing welding. We're doing, hey, I'm just walking around. And you know what? I've never stubbed my toe ever again after this happened. Um, yeah, I've never gotten a paper cut before. Uh, I've never gotten a paper cut, you know, since I used this stuff. Um, yeah, you know what? I can shrug off bullets. And let's say, you know what? Actually, you know what? Supernatural swordsmanship? If you try to, like, slash an elephant, um, you're you're not going to do it very well. It's, it's not really going to work for you. Uh, yeah. So you know what? I kind of think animalistic defense, even in a combat scenario, at least survives supernatural swordsmanship. Um, with mm, not 100% effectiveness but pretty close so i think animalistic defense is definitely the best one these are all wildly <laughs> crappy weak and situational um but animalistic defense i'm pretty happy with that what do you think let me know in the comments like comment also and then subscribe yeah that's all three of them all right i'll see you next time goodbye